ंगल Hello everyone welcome back to this YouTube channel the immigration gurus this is Tender Grover research coordinator of Montreal Canada so in this video i am sharing all the details related to onshore admissions as i haven't made any video uh, related to onshore admissions so i am uh, going to brief out how onshore admissions work who can get admission in uh, uh, this type of uh, uh, admission scenarios and what kind of options are available how eligibility work uh, and if you need to extend visa how it can be done or in some scenarios you may not even require to extend your visa so uh, to start with uh, how onshore admissions work it uh, onshore admission means if you are already inside canada or if you have got visa of canada then only you can apply for onshore admissions you can be on any visa in canada but in most scenarios college or universities they want you to have study visa because in that case you do not require to uh, get your visa study visa and you do not require to apply your visa and your visa is already secured and they just need to give you admission or you need to extend your visa which is easy and in both the scenarios uh, uh, seat of college whatever uh, whatever seats are available with the college or university they can be occupied easily so onshore admissions uh, as in uh, current scenario i am talking about centennial college uh, they must be having a few seats like 100 seats for a particular program so if they have 100 seats 80 seats were filled uh, uh, due to the uh, visa granted by ircc and 20 seats are left because students didn't get visa or they opted out or something something else happened or their visa is still in process so 20 seats are going to be vacant and they don't want uh, uh, these 20 uh, seats to be vacant so in that scenario they want to fill them with onshore admissions in normal scenarios it is really hard to get admission in some colleges or universities like centennial it takes a lot of time to get admission or sometimes you may not even get reply but in onshore it is really quick because they know that you already have visa they just need to give you admission and that's it you will be able to join uh, the college as soon as possible and their seat is filled so uh, that's how onshore admissions work so if you already uh, uh, you have received your visa and you are still in uh, india still you can apply for onshore admissions and you can secure your seat but do not travel by saying that you are going to a different college because from outside canada you cannot change your dli you cannot change your college or university you can change a program inside your college or university but you cannot change your college or university before uh, coming inside canada so what you need to do you can have your previous admission with you you can have a new admission secured with you and as soon as you land in canada uh, immediately after that you can apply for refund from your previous college or university and then you can move to your second college so where you have already secured an admission or what you can do once you land inside canada after that you can try to secure admission whether in conestoga or centennial or whatever options available and after that you can change your college or university so uh, you cannot change your dli if you are outside uh, canada so after getting your study permit once you are inside then you are allowed to change your college or university and it can be done on one side you can ask for refund other side you can pay one semester fee and you can start taking classes so it is uh, kind of uh, not really difficult if your previous college is uh, now going to give you a refund in that case it is going to be an easy scenario for you where you you just need to get offer letter from other college and you just need to take refund from previous college and you can pay the fee and gic is already there so everything is done and you can change your college or university so what kind of students uh, onshore uh, can go for onshore admissions so one scenario is where you have got admission uh, or and visa with some kind of particular university or college where you are not willing to go or you are not willing to stay in that city or uh, uh, that college or university and you want to change it suppose you uh, you got visa with some mba right now you are saying that i don't want to do mba i just want to go for some easy course and uh, some one year program i i just want to relax or i got visa in uh, for vancouver i and i want to move to uh, maybe uh, some other city or college maybe edmonton maybe Uh, calgary maybe uh, toronto so in that case you can try to switch your college or university so that's how it can be beneficial for you where without even starting your classes you just try to get refund so if you are able to land in canada like 20 30 days before in that case you have enough time 
to get refund from previous college and pay your fee. Your refund will not go to India. Your refund will be in inside Canada and you will get uh, the money back in your uh, Canadian account and you can pay from Canadian account as well. So the entire transaction is quite easy. The money will not go to India. So the uh, every uh, the, the entire system, the entire process is quite smooth. Taking refund and paying fee, everything is smooth. So, and also as you already got visa with you, and permit with you, then you need not to extend your visa permit, nothing. So you can just stay on the same visa or permit and you can just start taking classes in other college or university. Also, you can change your program as well. No need to stay on the same program. Suppose you came for MBA. Now you are interested in uh, going for a technical program. You can go for a technical program as well. It can be IT, it can be mechanical or whatever you want to study. If it is available, you can change your program as well no matter what kind of visa you got whether it is with management program technical program or whatever it was uh, you can go to hr business whatever option is available you can choose that option so one scenario is without even starting your classes you just want to switch your program and college and university so that is onshore admission and you can do it second scenario is you started taking online uh, started taking your classes after coming to canada and you find that your college or university is quite tough or you are not enjoying it and you are leaving the study in between. Suppose you have completed one semester, you will not get the refund of that one semester study. In that case, you will get refund of the second semester. And in that case, you want to start your study again and you don't want to continue your previous study or you might have failed in your previous college or university and you are finding it difficult to manage uh, your study and your job and everything and you want to go for some easy option in that case also you can leave your study in between and you can go for uh, another study and it can also be onshore admission so if you are in that kind of scenario suppose you started your st study in september and in january you want to change your program college everything and you want to start from scratch in that case also you can uh, go for onshore admission third scenario is you came to canada and you took kind of two year program that time and then after coming inside uh, you converted that two year program into one year program in in your college or university in the same college in that case if you have already completed your one year of study and you want to uh, complete second year of study uh, somewhere else so you want to study something else in that case you can make it one plus one in some co other college or university or you can do it in the same college or university as well so you can do it uh, uh, this way so if you want to extend your study means you want to make it one plus one whether you came on one year study or two year study and converted it to one year so if you have already completed your one year of study and you want to add one more year of study to get three year of pg work permit in that case also you can go for uh, onshore admissions and you can make it one plus one to get three year of pg work permit so this is also a scenario for example uh, if you come for hr and business management program uh, which is a bundle program in algoma university and if you after coming here you think that uh, why to complete two year study i want to study something else so in first year you study it program and in second year you want to study something else maybe uh, hr management maybe project management maybe something else so in first year you converted your two year study into one year and you took uh, IT program, which is one year program in Algoma University. So that is easy. Uh, that is easy to do. And in second year, you want to study project management, but in Algoma project management is of two years. So if you want to study project management of one year, then you can go to Centennial College or Conestoga College to complete your one plus one, and then it will become three year of uh, PG work permit. It can be done with other programs as well. And uh, it can be done with, if you are coming on project management and you want to study HR management of one year, and in second year, you want to study something else, maybe business management of something else, and you, you can study it somewhere else as well. So that's how onshore admissions work. So in all these scenarios, you can get admission onshore, and you can extend your visa as well, and you can change your program, college, everything once you are inside Canada. If your previous college or university is uh, uh, going to give you a refund, then it is going to be an easy scenario for you, and you can do it quite easily. Then uh, what kind of uh, options are available in Centennial College? Uh, uh, on PG level, there are two major options available, project management and HR management, and seats are quite limited. As soon as seats are filled, uh, you will not get admission. So you need to apply as soon as, as possible if you want to apply for these onshore admissions. So project management and HR management, you can study. So if you are not uh, bothered about what kind of programs are available, just proceed and apply and uh, you can uh, actually get visa as well. If you need to extend your visa, if you came on one year of uh, study inside Canada, in that case, you may not require to extend your visa 
the timeline is quite quick so within uh, 15 days uh, 20 days you can extend your visa and uh, right now the timeline inside canada is pretty quick uh, so you can extend your visa quite quick uh, quite quickly and uh, i'm going to apply for you as well in that scenario and there are no charges for that in any scenario there are no charges for extending your study and for these onshore admissions uh, you just if there is some application fee you need to pay that in Centennial college there is no application fee in UG level programs for PG, HR and project management are the options. On UG level, electronics and engineering is one option. Then uh, uh, mechanical engineering is one option. Then uh, energy system engineering is another option. Then heating, refrigeration, and air uh, conditioning is another option. And electromechanical engineering is another option. And aerospace manufacturing engineering is another option. So. Uh, there are five, six options available, technical options available on UG level and on PG level, HR and project management. Admission eligibility, usually there is study gap, like uh, there is a cap on study gap when you want to admission, uh, get admission in Centennial College and in most of the colleges. But when it comes to uh, onshore admission, mostly there is no study uh, gap, uh, there is no cap on the study gap. Also, uh, the, the admission procedure is quite lenient means you can get admission uh, without any hustle because uh, all those things are in picture uh, because colleges are worried about your visa. Uh, if your study gap is higher, they are worried that you are not going to get visa and their seats will get vacant. So uh, they don't want to be in, in some scenario where 50%, 80% of the students uh, are getting refusals and they want to stay safe. So in that kind of uh, situation, uh, they just want to have a cap on gap, some percentage or all those th things. Uh, but when you are having onshore admission, most of the things are cleared. It's not a problem. IELTS is not required. Uh, and also, uh, what do you call percentage is quite fine. 50% mostly uh, is required and you can, uh, you must be having it because you, if you have already got visa, you are inside Canada, you must be having that percentage. Gap is fine. Uh, percentage is fine. Even if you have uh, 20 years of study gap, it is not a problem on for onshore admission and you can get uh, uh, kind of uh, admission in uh, uh, Centennial College and other in other colleges as well. So I guess uh, most of the uh, things are clear uh, related to the options related to who can get admission and how you can extend your visa. If you need to extend your visa, again, uh, I'm saying it, uh, I can, uh, I, I'm going to apply for that extension and you will get it quite easily as well. And there are no charges for onshore admissions and for uh, uh, extension of uh, visa as well, if you require to do it. Also, if you are inside Canada and if you want to study something else, then you can plan it in a way uh, because suppose I am mostly towards management programs. And uh, if you want to study something else, then it is a better scenario where you are coming uh, on project management or MBA or business management. Uh, you are coming inside Canada with these programs and after reaching here, you can change the program to something else. So Algoma is one good uh, place where this can be done. Uh, so in Algoma University, if you are going to uh, get visa with project management, if you are not really interested in that, even the seats are not uh, really available, but uh, uh, this program is good for getting visa. So once you are inside Canada, we can convert it into uh, maybe HR, maybe business management of one year, maybe IT of one year, and then you can study that program. And in second year, uh, we can take the other program, whatever you want, and you can get visa with that. So this is one good example where you have variety of options available and you can change the program to something else. If you want to study technical, uh, maybe in IT, in that case, uh, come with project management and then switch it to IT. And after completing your IT program in second year, I can get you some other program and can get you visa uh, as well if you require to extend it. If you are already coming on two-year study, in that case, you may not require to extend your visa and your previous visa will work for both the programs and you can easily complete both the programs without extending visa. Even if we require to extend it, we can do it easily. It's not a problem. I hope video is informative. Uh, if so, uh, please like, subscribe, and share the video as much as possible. Uh, guys who are inside Canada, it is quite useful for them. So if, if you have any link who, are, uh, who want to get an admission right now, so this can be quite uh, useful for uh, those folks. Uh, thank you so much for watching this uh, video till the end. If you have any query, you can ping me on my number. Numbers are given. Uh, uh, in the comments, my number is plus nine one uh, nine eight one two three eight zero double eight two. So this is my Indian number, which is still working in Canada. So you can call me on this number. If I'm going to miss the call, I will call you back. Don't worry about it. Oh, and leave a message on WhatsApp first and then call me. That will be a better scenario. Thank you so much.